Hey guys, it's Vaughn, and today I'm going to be sharing my long-awaited postpartum weight loss journey. Many of you are already familiar with my pregnancy experience. You've been following my channel. You know that I did start off with some slight complications in the beginning, but ever since I've become a mom, it has been the best thing that has ever happened to me. I've been super busy, um, but I have not let that get in the way of my weight loss and fitness goals. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video today how to kind of stay on track as a mom, but also not forgetting to take care of you, the most important person in this equation. During my pregnancy, I gained 30 pounds, and one of my first goals after giving birth was to lose that weight and to get my muscles back intact. I start off my days normally drinking fresh squeezed juice before I hit the treadmill. I do a very basic kind of workout with a focus on cardio and toning, and basically just trying to get my flexibility and endurance back up because I lost a lot of muscle during my pregnancy. I started back working out three weeks postpartum, and I work out for one hour, five days a week. After my workouts, I've been filling up with plant protein with this vegan protein shake. During my pregnancy, and probably like most pregnancies, I didn't hold back much on the things I wanted to eat. So a few weeks after birth, I committed to a fully raw vegan cleanse, but not without supplements. I was still taking my postnatal vitamins and a vegan protein. So all the edibles I'm gonna show you guys in this video are going to be fully raw based on my raw vegan cleanse, um, but I will do another video where I show you guys my everyday regular diet. So let's start with my morning juice. I'm just going to wash my fruits and vegetables with this fruit and vegetable wash that I got from my local grocery store. I like to make sure everything's clean and chopped and prepared. That way when it's time to throw it in the juicer, I don't have to do any extra steps. I juice with a Breville juicer that I got from Crate and Barrel. This is a good one because it's durable and easy to use. Before we get started, I'm going to show you guys an old trick. It's kind of like a juicer hack. You basically take the waste bin and line it with a grocery bag and then that way when you're done, it's easier to clean up. For this first recipe, at least the one I'm gonna show you guys today, is going to contain apples, carrots, kale, and ginger, one of my favorite blends. I like to try a lot of different juice blends all the time. I think my two most used ingredients are kale and ginger. Kale for its rich nutrient base and ginger for its flavor profile. Ginger really helps cut the bitter taste of raw veggies. So I'm all done. I've got about 18 to 20 ounces of juice here. Just gonna pour into my plastic on the go cup and store it in the fridge for later. Yeah. Another piece to this raw vegan cleanse is the consumption of more water. I really don't like water, so I'm gonna show you guys how I make it more tasty using herbs and fruit and these really cool water bottles from Walmart. For this first infusion recipe, I'm going to use mango. I'm just going to peel it and slice it into small bits. And then I'm going to stuff those small bits into these little infusion cages. These are so cool because it forces the fruit to sink in your water, which creates a better infusion instead of just floating on top. And also these bottles have a wide mouth opening so you can get all your fruit in. This next one is one of my favorites. It contains sliced cucumber and some rosemary herbs. I really love this one. It's really unexpected because you really never would think that an herb would taste really good in your water, but it does. I like to fill my bottles with hot water because I like to think of the fruit as a tea bag. And after about four hours in the fridge, you're ready to drink. Next, I'm gonna share the recipe for my post-workout vegan protein shake. So you need your blender for this one. You're going to start with your raw almonds and just grind those up. Next, you're gonna add one whole banana and about two cups of almond milk. This will get you a nice 16 ounce single serving. Next, you wanna add your protein powder. I'm using a vegan one. This one has a vanilla flavor. You can also add other fruits. Sometimes I add blueberries or strawberries. It's up to you. Normally when I have a protein shake like this, it serves as a meal replacement because it's so filling. But lately I've been preparing small meals to go along with it. So I'm gonna show you guys my post-workout raw vegan meals. This first one is one of my favorites. It's basically just an arugula salad. I like to add some raw sliced onion to it, some sliced cherry tomatoes and sunflower seeds, but you could also use peanuts, cashews, sesame seeds. And then I just top it with this all natural sesame ginger dressing. 
This next meal idea is very simple. It just starts with a couple tablespoons of hummus. This one's store-bought, but you could totally make your own hummus. Normally, I just season with a little salt, pepper, and red chili pepper flakes, just to add a little heat. And finally, I add my sliced bell pepper for dipping. Super quick, satisfying snack. This last meal is really tasty and hearty. I'm using zucchini spirals as my noodle. The sauce for this dish needs to be prepared in a blender, so I'm just adding in my ingredients, starting off with my tomatoes, onions, and the juice of half a lemon. For texture, I'm adding about a teaspoon of organic extra virgin olive oil. This is a sauce, so I do want it to be chunky, so I'm only going to blend very coarsely. To plate this, I'm going to start by adding a handful of those raw zucchini spirals to the plate. Then I'm just going to top with my sauce. I'm going to season with some cracked pepper and sea salt, and I'm going to garnish with some capers. So delicious, guys. I'll include all of the recipes from today's video in the description box. So where am I today at four and a half months postpartum? Well guys, I feel amazing. I've lost 30 pounds. My daughter is healthy and happy. I could not be more grateful. I feel like the sooner moms can get back to themselves after having a baby, the better off they'll be. You can be a better mom. You can give more of yourself to your family. I feel like as a mom, as a woman, you can't give what you don't have. So time should be taken out for you so that you can build yourself up, whether that's emotionally, physically, whatever it takes. I knew that as soon as I got back to me on the inside, it would show through on the outside. And there is nothing wrong with wanting to be like your old self. So I've been enjoying my new life, embracing this new mom thing, and taking time for me by eating right, getting back active, and being social. And I did not do any of this overnight. This all came very gradually. Not once did I overexert myself, I listened to my body and got it done on my time. Yes, I'm proud of myself and I want to encourage any woman out there who is in the same boat. My advice to you is that you can do it and you totally should.